Hello! How's it going? Uh, it is Wednesday, uh, and I'm going to play some Mafia 2 on medium. Medium, medium difficulty, uh, because that seems appropriate. Uh, okay, cool. Um, that seems like a disclaimer that I probably should have read, but I'm not going to read it, because I don't fancy it. Um, oh, there we go. Bit of a quote from the hero of the first game. Um, <clears throat> so this is Mafia 2. It was released by surprise. Uh, yesterday. Uh, let me know how I'm looking and sounding, by the way. Um, yeah, it was released by surprise at 5pm yesterday, so I've downloaded it, and uh, it's a remaster of Mafia 2, which came out on the Xbox 360. So it should still look pretty good. Uh, it is not, however, a remake, which is what the upcoming Mafia uh, remake I is, uh, is going to be, and that's coming out on August 28th, and that's going to be a full remake of the original Mafia game, which is a real favourite of mine. I never played Mafia 2 all the way through, so um, why not crack on with the Definitive Edition in preparation for um, for the Mafia remaster, or remake, sorry, that's coming out on August 28th. My name is Vito um, let me know how you're doing in the comments, and how Point everything's Sicily, looking. Got some people saying, looking great, that's good. That little John Nigma wants to know how my day was so far. Good, it's hot here. It's very, very hot. Um, yeah, it's, it's the hottest day of the year so far, I believe. Uh, and I stepped outside briefly earlier, and it is warm. But yeah, doing all right here in lockdown, lockdown town. Um, hope you're all keeping safe, washing your hands, all that stuff. Um, <laughs> Willie Tower says, hey, Mike, you, look, you sound like Mike, so I guess fine. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. Uh, here we go. We're uh, emigrating to America. We'll be pointing at the Statue of Liberty, no doubt. That's what you point at. Oh, no. I guess not. We're just pointing at skyscrapers. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Um, what I always loved about these Mafia games is a real sense of time and place. Um, it's very, very cool. Keeping myself hydrated because it's so warm, obviously. Wearing shorts down here. You can't see them, but they're there. Um, Tom Titherington says, I'm so happy to see you, Mike. I wish I could stay longer. I'm backing you to win this show of the week. Take care, man. Yeah, we've got a really fun uh, we've got a really fun stream coming up a bit later on today. So, uh, obviously, I'm streaming this now for a bit of, you know, fun gameplay type stuff. Uh, then, uh, over on Outside Extra after this, Ellen is going to be streaming Black Flag, carrying on with her Black Flag adventure. And then after that, Andy and I are facing off in a competition to see who has the worst American collection of video games um, like we're, I've got my pile down here uh, we've sorted them out we've created a deck of 10 games a bit like playing Magic the Gathering or something that we're gonna play and see who has the worst total uh, or, or the lowest total Metacritic score and that person wins apparently the person with the worst collection wins so um, we're getting the full story of this uh, this lead character, by the way. Look at all this, look at all this atmosphere. Look at all this world building. Look at that cable knit sweater and flat cap combo. That's a look that needs to come back, definitely. It probably has already come back. I'm not very up on fashion at the moment. Um, what else have we got? Ah, Chris Allen's a new member. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Chris, enjoy your emoji. I believe that's the correct plural of emoji. Um, but that one's up for debate. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for supporting the channel as well. Like, uh, obviously, it's a weird, weird time at the moment, so we appreciate all the supports we are getting from you guys. Uh, Dream Club says Don Mike, awesome. I don't think I'm going to be a Don, at least not to start with. Maybe that's a, maybe that's where I work my way up to. So, uh, like I said, I've not played this game. Um, I, at the time it came out, I was I was working on a magazine and I was just reviewing other games. So. Um, so yeah, uh, I never actually, although I loved the original Mafia, never never got to play this one. So here we go. I'm about to launch into it, presumably. The old country. Sicily. Oh, July 1943. Dang. So probably a war's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a war's going to happen. This looks good, though. It looks it looks pretty, like the, the textures and stuff. I mean, obviously, it's not a... It's not as detailed as a, a sort of modern Xbox One game, but it's looking, looking pretty crisp. Pretty crisp. So I, I love how this was like surprise launched um, yesterday at 5 p.m. But obviously everything about this entire announcement was kind of leaked uh, ahead of time. Um, so yeah, it kind of ruined the surprise a little bit. But I, I do find it weird that they're releasing the remaster of Mafia 2 first, then they're doing the remake of Mafia 1. 
but also you get you can have Mafia Three again as part of a trilogy. It's a bit strange, really. Uh, but Mafia Three is good as well. Mafia Three is a really good, uh, good game to play. What am I doing? Like, let's shoot that guy. Yeah. Bam. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Rebellion. Rebellion. I'm stuck to cover. It probably should have told me what the button to not be stuck to cover was. All right. Okay. Maybe I'm just supposed to stay in cover. There we go. Shooting the baddies. Ah, press A to leave cover. Thank you. Thank you. It's just like my butt was magnetically stuck to that. <laughs> it's just kind of shuffling along with my butt. Oh, dear. Oh, machine gun nest. Oh, dear. Whoa. And a rude word. Please excuse the potty potty mouth soldiers. Um, this doesn't look like the, the day of someone's daughter's wedding at all. This is not very mafia at all, is it? But I'm being tutorialized anyway, so uh, that's good, I suppose. <laughs> Where better place to learn the ropes than in the middle of an arms conflict? Um, oh dear, this has not gone well. I, my history is not great. I don't know whether... I, I don't know what we're doing here in Sicily and what, what side we're on. Um, but uh, let's, let's not overthink it. Let's not overthink it. Let's just do the objectives as they pop up. Uh, I'm equipping a grenade. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh wow, that worked, but it also looked like my arm got shot to bits uh, while I was doing it. So, um, Angel Beat says, does one of you have Ride Tail Retribution? That should be an automatic win loss. Well, you'll have to find out whether either of us retained their copy of Ride Tail Retribution. Um, and uh, and whether that whether that is the the sort of auto auto win condition, um, it's really I'm I'm actually I'm going to save all this for the stream. You should definitely tune into the stream, but uh, we'll um, we'll I'm sure talk about uh, some of our thought processes in terms of uh, picking all the games that we're going to choose. I'm really excited. We honestly neither of us well I haven't cheated certainly. I don't think Andy will have cheated. Neither of us have looked at what these what games uh, have got on Metacritic, so we genuinely don't know. It's going to be a proper contest. Lots of arguing, I'm sure. Uh, it's gonna be really, really good fun. Um, where did that? Where did that guy pop out from? Hey, you! Now, now. Um, okay, right. I'm spending a lot of time with black and white vision, um, and I can't tell whether that's because we're in the past or whether I've been shot a lot. Uh, oh, we're going out this way. All right, fine. Am I taking point? Oh, oh, get him! Ah, I shot him in the guts. And you. Okay, I think with his, I, I think they're kind of steering clear of the kind of what side we're on type thing, and the, these are just like uh, non-specific bad guys. That was close, actually. Oh no! Oh, what, what just happened? I can't believe it. You're a goodie. Come on, shake a leg, mate. I apologise for all the bad language. I mean, this is lunchtime. This is, uh, you know, there could be kids watching, and there's, I mean, there's two swears in that sentence. So let's just ignore the swears, shall we? Um, and continue uh, with the ultra violence instead, which is much more suitable for kids. Um, let's not think this through too much. Um, Gentle Mandrill says, uh, Hey Mike, since I just saw the old car in the intro, did you ever drive an old timey car? And is there an old timey car you really want to drive? Um, I, my knowledge of old timey cars is not amazing. Um, and also, I think they're just like quite difficult to drive. The oldest, the oldest thing I've driven was a Series 2 Land Rover uh, at Goodwood. Um, and it's it's weird. Like, the brakes, basically, they're, they're sort of a, just a sort of suggestion, basically, rather than an actual brake. Uh, and the gearbox doesn't have, really have a gate, so you just kind of mix it around a bit like a mixing bowl until you find a gear and then you put, put it in there. Uh, and so everything has to be, like, so much... considered so much further ahead of time. Which was fine when those cars were out because there were barely any cars on the road. But if you were trying to drive one of those cars on the road, like in a kind of busy situation today, you'd definitely end up rear-ending someone because you wouldn't have braked three weeks before you needed to stop and then you'd crash into people. So, um, old time cars are bad, but um, there's definitely, I, I couldn't, couldn't give you the names, but there's definitely some sort of old timey cars that look amazing and, and sort of really, really dramatic. And um, I'd be well up for driving one. It's just, um, they're very difficult. You have to be concentrating the whole time rather than, you know, like listening to music or, you know, I don't know, chatting in your hands free, which is what a lot of people seem to spend their time doing when they're driving. Um, Mega NUFC fan says hello. Hello to you too in Newcastle, presumably, because if you're a Mega NUFC fan, why would you ever move away from the time? Um, all right. 
I should really concentrate on what I'm supposed to be doing, which is mowing down quite a lot of... Wait, did I... Oh, oh dear. Oh, it's hanging. I feel like this is unrepresentative of certainly Mafia as I know it. Like, all this sort of uh, scripted shooting and stuff. I don't think this is a fair representation of the game, but um, we'll, I'm sure we'll get into the kind of open world, free roaming stuff. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, this looks bad. This looks like a horror. Uh, Mediocre Danny D says, couldn't catch the race. Uh, on the weekend, but get in for not hashtag not last. Proud of Hero Mike. Yeah, that was cool. So uh, for people who didn't know, uh, over the weekend I was very like kindly invited uh, by Heineken to join their uh, Challenge Heineken Legends uh, esports race on the Formula One game, uh, which was an enormous privilege because I got to line up on a grid. All right, it was a virtual grid, but line up on a grid against 2016 Formula One World Champion Nico Rosberg and. Uh, David Coulthard, who I've been a fan of for absolute decades. So, yeah, it was great fun. Didn't finish last. Beat David Coulthard, hilariously. Um, is this guy a film director or is this still a war? Um, oh, man, the power of the mob. Wow, you just told told people to surrender. Anyway, the F1 was, race was great. I would love to do it again. It was really, really good fun. Um, I, I might do a, a little video, actually, about my sort of weird lockdown esports adventure because I've been doing some really fun stuff that just never, never would have happened otherwise. And obviously the the lockdown sucks and it's it's bad and, and the, the global situation is terrible, but um, it's been it's been bonkers some of the stuff I've ended up doing just because I have a, a somewhat of a small profile thanks to you guys watching our watching our stuff. So um, yeah, um, here we go, right. Fine, good. Oh, it's snowing as well. Oh, on the hottest day of the year, it is snowing. Um, yeah. So now I think we're in the we're in the city where we're supposed to be. Um, so this is a sort of, I guess, New Yorker like, um, but different from the city that we were in in the first Mafia, which was also a New Yorker like called Lost Heaven. Um, this one seems to be called Empire City, which, you know, is a pretty standard New York name. Maybe it's just like, um, you know how in the DC Universe, like, Gotham City is basically New York, but gothy. And then Metropolis is basically New York, but shiny. Um, maybe there's just multiple New Yorks. I think New York even exists in the DC Universe. I think it's like, Gotham City's there, New York's like a little bit further up the coast and, and identical. It's very strange. Comics are weird. Comics have, like, 100 years worth of baggage to, to deal with. Um, Oh, sick. Nice car. Right, let's go. And and we're getting a beer. Perfect. So I've just returned home from the war. Empire Bay. There you go. There you go. Um, oh, the snow. It's so atmospheric. Yeah, let's go. Blue bottle. Oh, I'm not even driving. Come on. I'm the wheelman around here. Get out and let me drive. This is the oh no, look record. Look at all those war planes going, going over. Like Press LB to look behind the car. Right yeah, this this series always did like atmosphere and storytelling so, so well. I just, I, I feel like, um, like so many people are familiar with L.A. Noir, uh, and that kind of has a similar kind of sense of place uh, and sort of uh, focus on storytelling. But, um, I feel like, for my money, the original Mafia was a better game than, than L.A. Noir, um, which is why I'm so excited for the, for the remake, which looks, I mean, I've seen some screenshots, and it looks astonishing. Um, it's, it's such a cool game. It's like a huge uh, environment, not just the city, but like countryside outside of it. It was a racing bit that everyone else hated and I loved, obviously. Uh, it was brilliant. It was really, really good. Um, let me know if you played it. Let me know if there's any people who actually played the original Mafia in the comments. And then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, Levi Brooks says this is not the real one, right? 28th of August uh, it comes, right? Yeah, this is, so this is not a full remake. Uh, this is the second game in the series. They're doing a full remake of the first game, which is arriving August 28th, and is well, well worth uh, you checking out. Here we go. Like, the animation's pretty good as well, considering. Like, this must have come out, gosh, not quite 10 years ago, but um, not far off, probably. So, um, 
Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, in these games, there's a lot of, like, hanging around uh, in bars and restaurants, pizza places and things like that. It's great. Um, apparently, I, I, I've fallen in love with a lady at this bar um, immediately. Immediately on coming back from war. Ah, uh, the power of the Mafia. There you go. Power of the mob. Don't have to go back to war. Brilliant. So I guess, but we now owe this guy. That If I know anything about the Mafia, it's about um, owing people things. Um, yeah, so that's probably going to turn out to be a bad thing eventually. Um, but for the moment, I'll take our chances. Take our chances with owing people rather than going back into a war zone, definitely. I like the old military tie as well in like a slightly different shade of green. Uh, William Kruger says the racing bit was unplayable until I got a better PC. How times have changed. Yeah, the um, so the racing bit we've covered, we've used it in uh, list videos before, but the racing bit in the original Mafia was dreadful. Um, it, that cars handled really badly, um, as you might expect. Most people were playing it on a keyboard as well, and this was like a highly strong sort of 1930s race car. Um, so just yeah, it just didn't didn't work for most people. I managed to do it, but only because I like racing and was and was sort of persistent enough to do it. But they later patched the game to uh, give you the option to just skip that bit entirely because it was like legendarily difficult. Also, fun bit of trivia about the um, cars in the original Mafia game: uh, they actually made them faster for the um, for the console version because everyone complained so much that in the PC version. Cars from the 1930s are slow, which they are. Of course they are. Um, oh, it all looks so good, so pretty. So what tends to happen in the Mafia games is you have the kind of open world and stuff, but then depending on which mission you go to, like a certain part of the level will be like way more detailed. So you'll get loads of these sort of little uh, activities and stuff going on, and, and you know more detailed interiors and things like that. So. It sort of works in combination to make the entire city feel like it's that detail when it's really just a sort of clever trick, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, Nikan says, you must have loved L.A. Noir. I liked L.A. Noir, but I didn't, I wasn't, again, I, I sort of preferred the original Mafia, which is why I'm really excited that like a whole new sort of generation of gamers are going to get to play the original Mafia in a, a sort of remade form. And it does sound like a remake, you know, it's, it's kind of... Um, as far as I know, they've got new writers on the project and things like that. So, I mean, not that the writing was a problem in the original one, but I, I'm expecting some extra missions and, and things in there as well. And it was a long game. I mean, it was a really, really lengthy... In that way, like, quite often, you know, old old sort of PC games were. It just went on for hours and hours and hours. So, um, that looks disgusting. That <laughs> They haven't remastered the food well enough for my liking. Also, he looks like... Oh, no, he's praying. I thought he was just despairing. Um, uh, Room 120 Times says they've also upgraded the facial textures and made them more expressive. Yeah. But yeah, the animation does seem pretty good. It's not too bad. It's not a bad-looking game. Um, okay, is this my bedroom? The one with the pictures of the dogs? Dogs, baseball, and cars. My three interests... What am I reading? Oh, I'm, I'm yawning. What, what is that? Stamped caravan or something weird. Uh, Henry Hersberger says, uh, it doesn't look very remastered altogether. I, you know, I think it's it's God really God. just texture quality, yeah, isn't it? And, um, uh, uh, and sort of resolution, really. That's all they've really done with this, which is why, I mean, that's going to be the reason why they've released the second one before the first one, uh, because they're doing a proper job on the first one. And... Um, uh, and just a remaster job on this. Is, are my clothes in the dog wardrobe? Oh, leather jacket, yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna look so stylish. Look at that. Collars popped, ready to rock. Uh, talking of rocking, look at this creepy, creepy ass rocking horse that's just, it's positioned so I can lie in bed and it will be staring at me. That's horrifying. I bet his eyes follow you around the room as well. Uh, what am I doing? Turning off the light. Turn off the light. Turn on the lights. Ah, there we go. Interaction, you guys. Interaction. Right, let's get out of here and meet our mob friends and do some mob stuff. Oh no, Mum's still awake. Do I have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Yeah, looks like I won't. Joe. 
Uh, Oleg Kazura says, it took me three whole days to beat the racing bit from the first Mafia. I still remember the track like it was yesterday. Yeah, it's really difficult. Like I said, we put it in a, um, we put it in a list video. I can't remember which one. Um, and I had to go back and get footage of it. It's still very, very difficult. Uh, Grape Toad says, I played OG Mafia. I loved most of it, but hated the racing bit. And the bit where I had to do Malay with a bat. The game wasn't meant for Malay. Yeah, the animation was really weird and sort of, uh, sticky. But there were some really cool missions. There's one where you, like... You find yourself at, like, by accident almost. I think you're, like, escaping from a burning building. And you escape across some scaffolding to, like, a church. And in the church is the funeral of, like, one of the guys you've whacked. And you have to, like, sneak through this, this entire funeral that is um, full of people who want to kill you. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Well, see ya, Mum. See ya, Mum. I'm off to the bar with the boys. I feel like I'm not a true mafioso until I've got a hat. Oh, here we go. Bad man. Oh, oh, he's crossed the wrong man. Punch, headbutt. Light punches, light punches. I can't actually see the guy I'm punching. Wait, let me get, get a better angle. No, that's not a better angle. Oh, no, I've been lamped. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Dodge. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Combo. Come on. Try and hit me. Try and hit me. Ha! <laughs> Idiot. Oh, hard punch combo. Bam. Big haymakers. Big rights and lefts. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to dodge. I'm going to dodge again. Ooh. Ooh. -hee. Ooh. Ah. Now punish him. There we go. Oh, no. No. He, uh, <laughs> he gave as good as he got. All right. I love this dodging. I just hold it for as long as I like. We could be here for hours. Ow! Oh, he dodges as well. No, that's not allowed. No, 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 no. Okay. That's... Ow. That really hurt. Okay. Right. So, let's go for a little light combo. And then, and then like, a bit more light combo. And then more light combo. And then, and then some heart. Then some big hit. Oh, okay. There we go. Do you, you still want... Oh, there we go. Slow motion. That's how you know a fight's over. When everything goes slow motion, that means the fight's over. Both of you. I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here. All right. Well, we won the... Oh, more borrowing, more favours, loans, bad men. Bad men. All right. Steal his hat, says Claire T. I'll, I will see if I can steal his hat. That would be great. And just pop it on. Pop it on the lid. Frodo Baggins said aim for the crotch. That's not... That's against the rules of boxing, as I understand it. And that very much did look like boxing to me. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay. Right. We better go and... Better go and sort this guy out. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. By take care of this, he means he's going to kill some dudes. Take care of yourself. By take care of yourself, she means... No, she doesn't mean that. <laughs> um, I think Joe could help me out. Oh, we need two grand fast. Why don't we just go and bump them off? All right. View the map. Here we go. Big old city. Empire Bay. So we need to head to Joe's place. That's fine. It's just across the road. It's all about your local community being in the mafia. There's a policeman. I uh, want to avoid annoying those guys. In the original game, I don't know if it's still the case here, but you uh, could be arrested for speeding as well. So there was like a speed limiter button that stopped you from going over the um, speed limit. But obviously if you wanted to get somewhere quickly, or relatively quickly... Ow! Ow! I'm walking here. Um, then uh, you would get chased by police for, uh, for breaking the speed limit. Uh, is this where I'm going, the Trattoria? Seems seems like it. It's got a glowing door. Oh, look at the detail. It's not a bad looking game. It's not a bad looking game for the time. Uh, I'm going upstairs to go see Joe. I'm going to ask my good friend Joe for two grand. Too large. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. You know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like racket. it, he can find Maybe another a house party. Here we go. Let's go see Joe. 
wonder if he'll give us a two grand. Willie Tower says you can break the speed limit by running. You can't break it by running, but in the cars. Oh dear. Oh, broads. We'll pick up where we left off uh, in our pants party. Everyone's just sitting around in their underwear listening to music. Joe, you are a, a naughty man. Again with the language, these guys. I thought everyone in old timey times was polite and didn't, didn't swear all the time. I'm liking my I'm liking my leather jacket with my little sheepskin collar. It's lovely. Uh, Sam D says Mafia One or the Godfather game. Definitely Mafia One. I mean, the Godfather game had you know the the characters and the story from the Godfather, and was a similar sort of sort of deal, but. Um, I just think Mafia's, Mafia's own story was, I'm not going to say as good as The Godfather, but certainly as good as The Godfather game. Definitely. Um, Sweet Monkey Tuesday says, hope this isn't copyrighted music. That's a good point, actually. I should probably make sure, or at the very least, just talk incessantly over it so that it's impossible for YouTube to detect the copyrighted music. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. I hadn't even thought of that, really. Um, oh, it seems to have stopped. Joe's put his clothes on mercifully. Um, so let's uh, let's head out. Joe's uh, Joe's really uh, living it large. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? Said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. We're gonna go meet someone called Giuseppe. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're going to the garage first, where presumably I get to drive something for once. Can't believe it made me do a ride along. Oh, is that the basement? Is this the exit? Exit. There we go. Oh, he's teleported outside. He's got the power of teleportation. Not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. He's so good in the snow. Presumably, the entire game is in the snow. So. They went to the trouble of modelling the entire city in the snow, and then you'll presumably get to see it in the summer as well. It's bonkers. Unimaginative username says, sing along to the music, Mike. Rob West says, Mike, do you know Mafia 2 held the record for most cussing until GTA 5? I did not know that. Now I know. Hey, now uh, I know. Thanks again. For was, that, uh, was that what the disclaimer I didn't read at the start said? Hey, uh, Just sorry for all the swears good, or something. Uh, um, drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost all the whole right. time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. That's one of the nicest drive. cars money can buy. Doesn't even have, like... It's, doesn't uh, even have a sound system. <laughs> never mind. It, Actually, it probably does, does have a... It does have a radio, I imagine. The keys. Just be fucking careful. Don't be so rude. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. Uh, what I might do, actually, is, um, just because I'm reminded of the, uh, the music thing, I'm gonna turn the music down, just because, just to be sure, okay, I'm sorry. It's gonna sound a little less atmospheric, but on the other hand, the, right. the stream won't no, get pulled by no, some no. copyright rights holder. Right, here we go, this is what I'm after, a bit of driving. Yeah, how's it handled on the snow? Mm, not bad, not bad. Then just go straight for a while. Just go straight? Oh, straight the other way. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over. Yeah, so I guess you can be stopped by the cops. Is that a handbrake? Yeah, it does. Let's go. All right. Um, uh, I'm not going to slow down, Joe. I'm in a hurry. I'm a, a man with things to do. I'm going to... Whoa! Drive it like I'm in a car chase. Yeah, you did say it isn't a tank. I can tell it's not a tank, Joe. I do have eyes. There we go. I've already pulled the handbrake, my dudes. I already pulled it. It was great. It was great fun. There we go. I'll do it just for your tutorial. Right. Here we go. I'm a fast driver, Joe. You should hire me to do wheel manny stuff. Okay. Hard right. Yeah. A bit of opposite lock. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, where am I going? Over here. Yeah. 
Mission accomplished, and I only stuffed the front of your car and shattered the windscreen. I, I take that as a success. Oh my god. A Jefferson Provincial. Wow, a beautiful car like that would be ashamed to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe. Oh, okay. Car, car theft. Car theft was a key part of the first game as well, so. Welcome to Giuseppe's general store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. I am definitely a guy tired of getting my ass shot off, at least in the context of a war. I suspect my ass will be shot off um, in other ways. Um, in, like, mob-related stuff later on, I'd imagine. Already. It was a pain in the ass, for sure, this time. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? All right. Nobody from the army would bother. I thought we'd sorted the army thing out. You see? I, I thought it was taken care of. Look how much money that guy's carrying around with him. My dude, my dude. All right. Uh, uh, take the papers. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Is it you, Joe? Is it you? Yeah. I mean, they're only seven dollars. Although back in 1940, that was probably like 800 pounds or something. But you can test it right now. Oh, I have to do the lock picking manually, do I? Oh, he's got a practice lock. He's got a little practice lock. Move the pin. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's so confusing. Right, there we go. Did it. Did it. Didn't snap any lockpicks either. It was, it, it was fairly easy. It was fairly easy, I confess. I was making a meal of it. Um, but yeah, this game, I don't know if it reviewed particularly well when it came out. Um, but then maybe the, maybe the original map isn't me. Absolutely. either. But I'm, I really am fond of the first one. Steal the Jefferson, let's go. Here we go. Hold to pick the lock. Uh, hello. hello. Oh no. I messed it up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Job done. Free car. Now is this snow going to slide off when you drive away? What? The police? Oh no. Oh. How does he know I stole it? Alright. Already in a car chase. I've barely been in the mob. Five minutes. Whoa. Why is it going slow? Oh no. Oh, that guy's hat went right into the air and the rest of them went all over the place. Uh, okay. Well, I'm in a car chase, you guys. And the snow has come off the roof. That's good. It hasn't even turned the music off. Okay, I think I've turned the music off. That's fine. Um, this car chase thing's easy, my dudes. I'm so good at it. It's like the one thing at this game I'm good at. Picking locks, bad. Turning off radios, bad. Car chases, good. All right. Looks like we yeah, lost. we lost him. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. Not we bad, it, indeed. Right, I think I'll keep it, indeed. Shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, Why does he make cheap. services Don't sound like a euphemism when actually he does mean just, just sorting stuff out with the car? Okay, alright. Back to the body shop. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. I could get quite used to just cruising around this city. Big old handbrake turn. Oh, they're so bargy and boaty. It's amazing. Here. Park right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. What do I do to honk my horn? No, that's the camera. There we go. X. X, you guys. Of course it's X to honk your horn. Oh, there is a bit of... A little bit of someone on the front of my car there. Uh, change plates. Change colour. Improve performance. Well, let's repair it. And let's change the rims. Can we get a uh, neon guy? Oh. Oh, yes. Speedstone Alpha. Uh... Change the plates. Do I want to personalize it? And let's repaint it as well. What's the most disgusting color we can find? I think it's yellow. Yeah, all right. Done. Thank you. 
He's got a big box of license plates. Just slap them on. Why not? Every time that garage door opens, they'll see a big box of license plates. And be like, is right, this guy legit? Whoops. Whoops. Probably have some work for you. Mike right, Brewski. Mike Brewski sounds like a nickname website. of a guy in a frat house. Um, hey, who's that guy back there? Who's what, what guy, guy back where? Guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you. Everyone's somebody's relative, so presumably. That's why they call it the fan. Oyster Bay? Is that where the wine comes from? Uh, Oyster Bay's a wine, right? Kid? I don't need no dance food. I got charm, I yeah, friend. handbrake Here, turn, drift. So maybe you won't have to spend so I'm the drift king of, of uh, Empire Bay. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your face. That's that is an <laughs> awful, awful pickup line, Joe. Joe, I'm amazed you have any luck whatsoever. Well, here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I put you and I together. I mean, that's quite oh, sweet. Oh, come on. That is, that's, I mean, that's a bad line, and obviously it would get you laughed at, but maybe, like, it laughed at in a sort oh, of adorable this one never way. Fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. Oh, Joe, stop it. You're as bad as Roman. You're as bad as Roman Belich. And this works for you. Okay. Oh, my, I've got to get to this, uh, I've got to get to this destination before I have to hear any more of this guy's awful pickup lines. They're dreadful. They're absolutely dreadful. We're heading to Riverside. Joe, don't, don't you dare, Joe. How about this one? Oh my God, Joe. Go to Joe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive house. this car into the sea. I swear to God. Oh, I swear to God, I'm gonna drive this car hey, into the sea. Soft, oh my God, words. Joe, could you stop? Could you actually stop? <laughs> um, oh, I've got a comment from LJ who says, I'm too tired to watch live even at this early hour, but can I get a shout out to my amazing girlfriend, Rebecca, who's watching this in another room? Hey, Rebecca. Hey, uh, Elle's girlfriend, hope you're enjoying this, these awful pickup lines from this dreadful man. Shall I just stuff it into the sea? I feel like it's no less than he deserves. What happens if I just veer off over here? Doesn't look like you can ramp it there. There's a pier. Right, Joe, Joe, you made me do this. You made me do this. Wow, it really sunk. <laughs> it really sunk. Oh, we're fine, apparently. Apparently we're fine, but the car, I mean, it's not even visible anymore. I think it fell through the world. So, that's on you, Joe. That is on you. All right, come on, we're walking. I know it's cold. I know it's cold, Joe. I know it's snowing. But you should have thought of that before you started laying your awful pickup lines on me. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe, pick up the pace. Come on, buddy. Is that a hearse? <laughs> he looks like a hearse. Um, I can't believe my, I have my nice new car and I buried it in the ocean. But, to Mafia 2's credit, it did not insta fail me the mission, which most games would have done. So, uh, I think it's to its credit that it just let me be a total jackass. Uh, are we going to the gun shop? No need for guns at the moment. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe, keep up the pace. <laughs> Danny McNamara says, hashtag loophole. Yeah. Um, Piper Barnes says, you brought this on yourself, Joe. He did. Joe, you brought this on yourself. As Piper says. I don't even know where we're going. Is this like a junkyard? or I really should have crashed my car a bit closer to where we were supposed to be going. I could steal another one, but... Um... You know, I'm enjoying the fresh air. I'm enjoying the exercise. I think Joe is as well. Why not you, Joe? Come on, buddy. There'll be another car to steal at our destination, I'm sure. There's loads of them around. There's loads of them. Um, here we go. Hey, look who's here and completely out of breath. Joe! Joe's not out of breath, apparently. He's still able to swear his pants off. Um, <laughs> Mark Brown says, Mike taking on the couch to 5k challenge in his own way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet Monkey Tuesday says cars sink quite quickly when they're made of lead and asbestos. I assume that's what they were made of at the time, yeah. Mike Brewski loves a Brewski. He said, "Don't shake his hand." What? I'm so not concentrating on any of the actual story. I've to talked about um, how much I love the story of the Mafia games, but um, yeah, just not not concentrate at all. Concentrate on on. Ragging on Joe for his dreadful, dreadful pickup lines. Take as many as I can handle. 
Uh, Amanda Thun says, do you all think Mafia 3 is as good as the second one? Uh, not having played the second one, it's difficult to compare them, but I do think Mafia 3 is like an underrated, like, good game. I think it was very, like, brave of them to, uh, take, like, a game called Mafia and do something sort of completely different from the kind of standard Mafia, uh, you know, Sicilian Mafia stories they did in the first and second games. So, um... Yeah, I think I think it's good. I think it's worth playing. It's got again a really good sense of sort of time and place. It's just a different different time and a different place from the from the other games. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Mediocre Danny D says ragging on Joe is a big part of the story. The main part. Yeah, it is for me. It is for me. Um, and the armo. I love and the armo. Such a cool word. Oh my god! Everyone's so rude to each other. Oh, is it? We're all going on a mission, apparently. I've not been listening, but um, apparently we're going on a mission. Um, Czech Patriot said Mafia 3 wasn't a Mafia game, it was bad. I didn't think it was that bad. I played, played a fair bit of it. I thought it was pretty good. Luis Felipe Baptista says the intro sequence of Mafia 3 was fantastic. They do do good opening sequences in general. Um, okay, I'm practicing shooting even though I was in a war. What am I doing? Shooting out the tyres. Okay. There's one. There's. I said there's oh my god there we go jeez hey you went a bad shot I fired an entire like magazine or whatever they had what would these old-timey guns have shoot the car's gas tank is that this bit there we go can I leave gas in that thing there's a Polak joke there but I'll leave it alone oh yeah that reminds me Fuck you. Oh my god, you're just so rude to each other. This language is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Right, okay, holster my weapon. Off we go. Driving to the Lone Star Bar. Oh yeah, I don't I don't have a car, so um Would it be bad form to steal this guy's car? There's one over here, this cheeky little red number. That'll do. I'll have that one. Hold to pick the lock. Okay, what was the button I pressed again? X, that was it. There we go. Easy. Alright. Onwards. Onwards. Good lock picking. Radio off. That's what I'm after. Drive along the train tracks. Don't try this in real life because it's bad. Spin it around. Oh. The GPS is so confusing. I guess GPS in 1945 was pretty bad, right? <laughs> or non existent. Or non existent, obviously. Um, off we go. Oh, I really clattered the uh, the old undercarriage of the car there. Alright, Joe, I'll do anything you say as long as you stop doing awful pickup lines. Good. Feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Yeah. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy Joe, happiness, money's you know? the only yeah, thing you've got going for you at the moment. I was just fucking yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought you were just joking. Money. Yeah, it's the best thing. Whoops. Oh, my drift. The police ruined my drift. Pop through that little window there. Off we go. I had a really good little drift going on there, and then the police ruined it. It's fine. They're not going to catch me. Not in this sporty little number. Look at that. But that's got at least eight horsepower. I like a. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I like a. I like how slidey and drifty it is with all the snow. <laughs> Just managed to sneak in there. And this, like Joe's having a pretty casual conversation during this police chase, which is, you know, he's just chill about it. He seems fine. He seems absolutely fine. Yeah. What's the deal with that? But yeah, like imagine driving around here at the speed limit. Imagine how tedious that would be. It's all got to be handbrake turns, every single corner. I mean, look at that. Look at that drift around the corner. That was proper precision, precision drifting. Just kick the back end out, a little bit of a drift, and then power out the corner. Take Lessons in driving old timey cars from Mike. Oh, oh, got that one wrong. I may, may have killed someone at the same time. Out of the way, honestly. 
Well, you just passed the police car, and because I hadn't quite got back up to speed, I wasn't speeding. That's good. Uh, ah, this is a nice neighbourhood. Very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. Right, big corner coming up. Should probably break. Oh, that's a tree. That's fine. Avoided the tree. Just hit the wall, that's all. Um, champagne taste and beer pockets. That's a really weird idiom. And beer's nice. Beer's fine. So that is very similar to the Brooklyn Bridge. But obviously this is not New York. This is Empire Bay. Empire Bay. Um, important distinction to make. All right, we're here. We are here. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for your back at Mike's. Uh, the problems. Then you deal with them. Look, consider this. Shane's Dragon, uh, the one eyed gamer, says, Is your camera in front of the map? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. So, but you know, you guys don't need to know where I'm going. We'll just be uh, sliding around. But yeah, the, the map is directly behind my head at the moment. Um, Steal the cream-coloured Walter Coop. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was quite stylish. Ah, oh, shit. Boxing match. Boxing match. Oh, no. Oh, he's good. He's good. Okay, dodging, dodging. And then a hard hit. Yeah, and a hard hit combo. I love his shoes. This guy's shoes are amazing. Maybe I can steal his shoes afterwards. There we go. Oh dear, wow, big kick to the face. And look to the camera, <laughs> like, I feel bad about what I've done. Wait, I. That's the guy I just kicked in the head. Hey! Isn't it? Hey, what you doing, motherfucker? Oh dear, more language. Uh, did I. Do I have a. Oh, I do have a gun, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Why have I gotten myself into this situation? Why this particular car that is guarded by many, many men? Leave me alone. Just let me take the car. Please. It'll be a lot easier for everyone. That was pretty good. Well done, me. Less well done there. Okay. So the combat's kind of okay. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Is that all of them? Uh, might as well pick the lock now, I guess. Uh, oh, there we go. All right. Here we go. Lockpick. Lockpick done. Done. And off we go. I like the way the speedo just sort of slides out of the map. Um, although, again, you can't see that. Because I'm there. Just imagine it happening behind me. Uh-oh, more guys. Crash through the fence. Yeah. Through the gate. Out we go. And then my amazing driving skills again. Am I being chased by police as well? Oh, They're all working together to ruin my life. It's fine. We're home free. As soon as I'm in the car, I'm home free. I've got to get the car in one piece. That's a, that might be a problem. Handbrake. Yeah, kick the tail out. Yeah. These guys should have just made a drifting game. Oops. Too much tail. It's fine. Just reverse. Off we go. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I need to turn the radio off again. Off. Ah, off. There we go. No more licensed music for me. What's this building? It looks kind of cool. Drift. No drift. No drift for Mikey. Yeah, so I've got a little GPS. I've got a little map and GPS behind my head at the moment, which is teaching me where to go. It's pretty good. Oh. Uh, Rory Losty says, the radio's on. The radio was on. I, I did spot it. I did spot it. I've got the audio like a little bit down, just so it's not like, just in case it's not like absolutely perfectly synced up with me. Um, so that's why it's a bit difficult. Uh, right, where are we going? Oh, I've taken a wrong turning. I was too busy looking at the comments. Quick turn. There we go. There we go. Uh, Blank says, is this that free GTA game? No, this is not that free GTA game. The free GTA game that Blank is referring to is that if you have the Epic Games Store on your PC, or if you install it, 
Uh, they're giving away, until May 21st, which is tomorrow, uh, they're giving away GTA 5 for free. And I think it's a deluxe edition as well. So yeah, GTA 5 for free on the PC. I can't imagine there's many people out there who don't already have GTA 5 either on the PC or on a console. But um, if you have a PC, why would you not claim GTA 5 for free? And you can do things like, you know, there's mods and things for the, for the PC versions, which are a good laugh as well. So yeah, if you weren't aware... Uh, and you do have a gaming PC, um, yeah, download the Epic Game Store thing and um, grab yourself a uh, copy of GTA. Look at that. Look at that drift. Such drifting. I love it. I, I hope it never stops snowing. This is too much fun, whizzing these old timey cars around. They're definitely faster than the ones in the first game. So the first game's set in like the 30s. So the sort of vehicle technology is even less... Uh, advanced than these ones and they are slow oh no he got his coat mucky joe's coat how's everyone doing isaac timmins says empire bay is quite immersive with bars cafes clothes shops and petrol stations yeah i love i love the uh, you know the world they created is is incredible um it's really really good like, i think i think that's maybe the difference between like mafia and um an L.A. Noir, like L.A. Noir, I felt like was just a sort of like the city was just a kind of inert kind of staging area for the for the um, story and delivering that story. Whereas Mafia, although there is a bit of that, it does have more sort of little places you can kind of poke around in and wander around in little side bits you can get up to. So um, Denise L says, "I love the driving in this game. So drifty. It is so drifty. Yeah, it's incredibly drifty." Danny McNamara says, "Joe's getting a massage." <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he used one of his pickup lines. One of his awful pickup lines. On Mike Brewski. Um, uh, Sweet Monkey Tuesday says, Your character definitely mugged Shenmue for his coat. Fair enough. Yeah, it does look a bit like uh, Rio. Rio, what's his face, his uh, coat. Are we walking? What happened to my red car that I had? Did I, I leave it at the other place? Okay. I need to steal another car, you guys. I'm going through cars like popcorn here. It's bad, bad times. And still, it's not been anybody's daughter's wedding yet. So it doesn't. I don't feel like a real mafiosi until I have a hat, until I'm at someone's daughter's wedding. Give me that car. Uh, uh, uh. You can't do the Saints Row thing of just jumping through the window and landing in the driver's seat. Uh, stop, please. Get, the fuck out. Get out of your car. Oh no, is he military? I feel I feel extra bad. Well, he's done it now. And it's a V8 as well. I'm expecting lots of horsepower. Uh, it drives pretty much the same as any other thing. Okay, but the GPS has woken up, so I know where I'm going now. Oh, yeah, still drifty. Still so drifty. Look at that. Bit of Scandi flick in there. Yeah. We should take the highway, Vito. Clarify. Scandinavian flick is where you turn the car away from the corner first and then turn it back in to use the shifting momentum to give you more of a drifty slide. It's a, a rallying technique. Um, and uh, clearly in this game, I'm amazing at it. Apparently we're not qualified for anything else. Uh, I could be a racing driver. I could be a, an old-timey rally driver. I'm that good. But anyway, I probably owe people loads of stuff now. I owe the mob. We haven't even met the Don yet. We, we don't even know who the Don of this mob is. It's not Joe, is it? Joe's not Don material. Alright. Hard left. Uh, I got a bit spooked by that um, police car there. Fortunately, my drift was slow enough that I was under the speed limit as I was drifting. But I overdid it anyway. Um, look at this. I mean, it's a, it's a really nicely built game. Um, I'm not even sure how much it costs, but hopefully not full price, right? Because it is only a sort of upraised version of the, the original game. But, um, yeah. Don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Some blood blood splashed on my face there. I assume it was my own. Or Joe's. Maybe Joe's. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in a garage. Streets full of criminals these days. Good joke, Joe. I like it. I like it. 
<laughs> Joseph Pollack, radio bro. Yeah, forgot about the radio, sorry. Gonna have to think about that every single time. In fact, what? Obtain a car to park? Yeah, park in the garage. Let me turn the radio off, so hopefully next time I get in it, it won't have the radio on. And let's get it in the garage. Park in the garage. Okay. Get out of the way, Joe. Joe, you're my sidekick, not the other way around. We're going to Joe's apartment for another one of his awful underwear parties. I turn off the light. And we're standing in the dark now, Joe. What of it? Turn on. Right. In we go. We need to terrorise that old lady again. The landlady or whatever. Wait, have I gone past it? It's this level, is it? Is it? Is it this one? Yeah. Felt like Joe didn't even know where his own apartment was. He kind of ran up the stairs with me. What an idiot. Open the fridge and take some food. Oh, okay, cool. So this will make me feel better after my car crash. Beer? Yes, please. Delicious. Uh, what about that sandwich? Cola sandwich. Classic ham and cheese. Classic choice. Whoa! Whoa, I monstered that all in one go. Uh, crash on the kitchen couch to get some sleep. There's a couch in the kitchen? Yeah. Fine. There we go. Some good mafiaing. <laughs> Danny McNamara, have a sandwich, yeah. Delicious. Uh... Uh, apparently, uh, Okono says that the uh, Mafia 2 had to pull songs a while back because they aren't out of the public domain. So maybe all the stuff in this is in the public domain. Uh, I've unlocked some new artwork. I don't want to look at it because it might be a naughty lady picture. I seem to recall there were some naughty lady pictures in this. Um, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. It's bad enough with all the swearing and violence, to be honest. Um, Mediocre Nandini says one is good Mafia. Anik Brock, they say kitchen couch like that's a thing. Yeah. I've never heard of a kitchen couch. Oh, yeah, just take a seat on the kitchen couch. So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo to find yourself a job? Hey, told me to come by and see him today. Mediocre Danny D loves a good ham and cheese. Loves a good ham and cheese. Uh, Scott Corey says breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champions might be what Joe is having for breakfast. but um. Uh, okay, Southport Docks. Oh, yeah, I can't go out in my pants. Wardrobe. Why am I putting things in Joe's wardrobe? It's a bit weird. Also, where is Joe's wardrobe? If it's in his bedroom, I'd be very, very upset. Or is it in the kitchen wardrobe, perhaps? <laughs> or as I like to call it, the fridge. Uh, yeah, I'm having the rest of that sandwich. In fact, I'm going to eat all, eat and drink all of Joe's stuff. Uh, yeah. Keep drinking. Is it? This is morning drinking, isn't it? This is probably bad. Pretty a bad thing. There we go. I've drunk. Oh, it's a bit blurry now. Is it? Is it a bit blurry? A bit blurry and a bit sluggish. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm day drunk. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, I've had too much. No. Oh, here's the wardrobe. There we go. Right. Okay. Can I change my clothes back into my pants? No. Not allowed. Right. Well. Hopefully the fresh air will get me over my, uh, will serve me up a bit. <laughs> right, here we go. Okay. Out the door. Michael Vine, it's only morning drinking if it's your alcohol. <laughs> cool, good loophole, I like it. I like it a lot. I seem to have sobered up now, now that I'm outside. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna need. Oh, I probably ought to use my car I, rather than just stealing another one. But then it takes so long to pick locks, doesn't it? So, and I'm a baddie. I'm a, I'm a mafia baddie. So let's just. Hey, you, get out. Oh, oh no! It's another. No. It's another one of our brave boys. No. <laughs> Why am I always stealing from military military people? I feel bad now. Um, radio off, off, radio off. Okay. Um, bowling. Ooh, <laughs> I wonder if Roman Belich, I mean Joe, 
Barbano wants to go bowling. Um, let's get down to the docks. Southport. Southport's... Is Southport a place in the UK? Feels like it is. Um, right. Little scanny flake. Door's still open. There we go. It's shut. Oh no, it's open again. Oh no. People are going to know that I stole this car. There we go. Is that shut? Is that properly shut? Wait, have I got the speed limiter on or something? It seems to be like locked at... Oh no, it's fine. Oh, so the speed limit is the... Ow. Ow. Yeah, the speed limit... Speed's the white one and the revs are the red one. Okay, cool. Um, but it seems to like lock me at 40, so... How do I turn the speed limiter off? It's a little higher than 40 now. Oh yeah, it's climbing to 60. I think it's just a slow car. Just a slow car. It's a weird, weird part of the city. This weird, like, road along by the docks. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting nearly 80 miles an hour now. This, this is fine. This is fine and good. And there's a police car coming up. What should we blow past him at, like, at 80 in 1940? Doesn't care. It's not bothered. Does not care. Could not care less. Yeah, we've really got some speed up. I really don't want to break and lose all my momentum. So I'm just going to thread the needle through these vehicles. Yeah. And I assume I'm going this way. Oh, dear. I threaded my face into the steering wheel, I think, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Hard right. Oh, precision. Precision drifting again. Um, and off we go. Here we are at the city port. What am I doing? No idea. Not listening to the story at all. Just having a good time drifting around doing mafia stuff. Um, here we go. Is there a cut? Have you got a cutscene for me? Okay. The office upstairs. Should we go in the office? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. That's my bad for parking badly. Let's see what's see what's popping in the office. <laughs> Marcy Yoma says, I see Mike. Mike is cool and is making my day better. Well, I'm happy to help in some small way. I'm glad I'm making your day a little bit better. That guy's just reading Playboy like it's not a weird wow. thing to be just sitting around reading. Again, his food looks dreadful. It looks really bad. Really unappetizing. Look at that, look at that texture. Look at that face texture. Look at those pores. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. All right. You can call me Derek. Derek. That's not a very you, glamorous name. Guy, like I assume he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, there we go. Oh. He's dead. Well, <laughs> Clarity says he's just reading the articles. Honest. Sure he is. Sure he is. Um, <laughs> and Brendan Matthews says maybe he likes the stories. Sure he does. Sure he does. <laughs> Uh, Rebecca M says, what's popping in the office? Weirdly polygonal meat, it seems. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Brox is a nondescript meat item. Tell me. me. Yeah. All right, okay. What's going on in here, then? What do we need to steal or shoot? There's like a red triangle over there, which suggests it's a, an enemy. What am I doing here? Probably everyone else has a better idea of the story and has been concentrating on it more than I have. Um... DK says, as a Derek, I am H-U-R-T, Mike. It's not a bad name, it's just not very... I don't mean glamorous, I mean it's not very like Italian mafia, do you know what I mean? If your name's Federico, or Frederico, like Derek is not necessarily the like Italian sounding nickname I would go for. But maybe he's trying to blend in, maybe he's trying to blend in with Americans. But yeah, no shade towards the name Derek, it's fine. Uh, like Derek and the Dominoes, that's pretty cool. Like... It's a cool name. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Should have been concentrating on what Derek was telling me to do. Stand here. Stand in this spot. Lift the crate. Oh my god, it's, it's turned into Shenmue. It's turned into Shenmue. Guys, 
It turned into Shenmue while I wasn't looking. Oh my god, I'm loading crates in a dock. Oh, this is awful, and forklift trucks haven't even been invented yet. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, I don't even know if I'm... Yeah, there we go, loading the crate in the right place. Wait, the garage door's opening. Please, can this turn into some, some sort of dramatic, dramatic shootout? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, no. Fuck yeah, who does want to move boxes God around day. all the day? <laughs> boxes, playground, LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is so Shenmue. Um, John 13k. Let's see how many crates he loads. Well, I can't answer your question, John, because that is the last time I'm putting a box in this thing. Right, off we go. Leave when you've had enough. I have absolutely had enough. I'm taking the crates with me. Out of here. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot out. Face around here again. Don't worry. I make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro. Oh, here we go. Joe Something's Barbaro. happening. Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten. Bucks. Yeah, good. But that's what I was what thinking. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Oh, all right. We're friends now, apparently. <laughs> Ros09 says two is too many. <laughs> <laughs> Claire T, leave when you've had enough. New favourite game prompt. It's pretty good. Go on then, Steve. Steve's the one reading Playboy. I hope he doesn't ask me to shake his hand. <laughs> Danny McNamara says, I did actually move all the boxes I could. Thought there might be an achievement in it. There wasn't. Well, I'm glad I quit then. Oh, he's got his Playboy back in his hand. Oh my god. These guys. He works with Joe. You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your What's story? Your story? Well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women. They're all the all right. right Derek. Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging these guys. With Joe, right? <laughs> these guys. I don't want to work for these guys. <laughs> Brock Sisson says, "Don't we don't shake hands in 2020? You're fine, Mike. Yeah, that's true. That's true." Um, Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up? Angry Clown 1990 says, "Vito is best mafioso." I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I get. Crooked Dugger who says, "As long as the Playboy is the only thing he has in his hands, we'll be okay." Fair point. Fair point. Look at that awful tie this guy's wearing. Where did you get that? That's like a eBay tie special or something. Is that like? What even is that supposed to be on there? Oh, he just put a gun on the desk. Is that a threat or is that a... What's happening? Uh, <laughs> Playboy magazine just has that lady sleeping on the cover. She's just sleepy like all of us. Isaac Timmins, casual 40 sexism. Yeah, it's full of it. I think, again, that disclaimer at the start of the uh, game was like, eh, well, this is presented exactly as it was released in 2010 or whatever. Hey, it's Derek. Hey, it's Derek. John 13K says he got the tie on discount at JC Penney's. <laughs> Game, Game Desert reckons the tie was fashioned from the magazine. Good. Love unit. Casual gun flex. Yeah, it was a bit of a casual gun flex, wasn't it? I haven't got my Mafia hat yet. I'm sad that I've not got my Mafia hat yet. Joe says you just come back from Italy. Oh no, he's got his weird low res dinner back. So I've gone from like stacking boxes for 10 bucks to like roughing people up for 10 bucks. Like, stacking boxes is boring, but it's not as. Like dangerous as rough people up. Great boss. Collect at least on fifty bucks, I give you fifty. Just for walking around, they get a Easy fucking money, eh? Fine, I'll do your job. It's better it's better than boxes. 
better than lugging crates around. There you go. It is better than lugging crates around. Correct. Correct. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. They're just. He's just leaving them around. No, I'm not taking the magazine. Honestly. Honestly. Um, right. How do I get out of here? Am I, or am I going back into the docks? Is that why there was this red triangle? Is this someone I need to punch? Is this a punching bag? Over here? One of these guys? Talk to the worker. I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. I was just coming to pay. Actually, he's a pretty good barber. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Okay, cheers. That was easy. So, uh, who else do I need to talk to? You? This guy? Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Again? I don't even go to the damn barber. Well, that's not my problem, buddy, because I'm a bad, bad mafia man. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. It's convenient all the guys you haven't paid yet are just hanging out together. Hey. Really close to the guy's office. For the Strange. You've got the wrong guy, pal. My wife cuts my hair. Yeah, that's sweet. But while you work here, you get a haircut when Derek says. Oh, fighting time. <gasps> Okay, okay. Okay, that was good. I thought it was going to end up in a fight. Here's there. your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. So I'm confused. I'm collecting 10 bucks from everyone, but then he's paying me $150. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get out? Oh, everyone's gathering for a big punch-up. No Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. <sighs> so much swearing, so many swears. I can't remember who it was who mentioned that this was the sweariest game until GTA 5, but I can believe it. Oops, totally missed. Totally missed. A few lights, a few heavies, a bit of dodging. Ooh. Look at that footwork. Look at that footwork. That footwork. Why don't I just become a prize fighter? I'm so good at this. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Okay, that hurt. Big combo. Big finisher. Fatality. Fatality. Yeah. Oh no, he got up. Just need that slow mo. Just need that Batman slow mo. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. <laughs> Jab, 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 says mediocre Danny D. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Such rude language. I'm so disappointed in you, Vito. <laughs> Sorry, finish him. All right. Take the cash back to Derek. Vintage grot mags everywhere. Here's the money, boss, man. <laughs> Gogga Dugga says, Mike, a prize fight has to deal with boxing. I know you're feeling on boxes. Yes, yes, box. The other kind of boxing, yeah. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Oh, wow, I took care of Bill. So you're just sitting in the office watching all this. And you still haven't finished your disgusting dinner. How come there's, like, the most detailed texture I've ever seen on that guy's big old face? And yet the food he's eating looks like yeah, just we'll blurry and weird. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you to meet him at Freddy's. Gonna meet him at Freddy's, right. I cannot remember where Freddy's is. Oh, okay. That door's locked now and now I can leave. Okay. Fine. Off we go to Freddy's in Little Italy. In the car. Let's go. Burn out. Donuts. Okay, off we go. Yeah, you better run. The drift master is here. Yeah. Oh, bouncing as well. Bouncing on the suspension. I love it. I love it. Gun shop. What I want is a hat shop. I need to get my mafia hat on. Where can I buy clothes? Hopefully I'll get my Mafia hat soon. Because we're going to have to wrap up in like 15 minutes. Because um, Ellen's going to be streaming uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag on uh, on Outside Extra. Over on Outside Extra for a bit. 
So be sure to catch that as well. All right. Oyster Bay really is a place in here. It just makes you think of that like affordable white wine that you can get in supermarkets. Okay. This place is pretty cool. It's like sort of downtown -y area. And the snow's falling, it's just like Christmas. It's just like Christmas. It's just like the opposite of what it's like outside where it's basically thermonuclear over here in the UK. Right. Right, turning right. Oh, a little snowplow. Drift around the snowplow. Mess that up a bit. I wanna see Little Italy, Look, there's a big sign for it there. Have a look. One of the loading screens in the original Mafia had the most delicious looking pizza I think I've ever seen on it. Um, it was a, uh, a mission where you had to shoot out in a pizzeria. But it had all these, like, every loading screen was, like, different for each mission. And it looked really, really yummy. Okay, little Italy. Here we go. Here we go. Just around the corner. Take that lamppost out. Italian delicatessen. Quick donut outside there. <laughs> Definitely intentional. Um, food and drink over there. Pizza. Look, pizza. Delicious pizza. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. Okay. There's another gun shop here. Freddy's Bar. Freddy's Italian Bar. Here we go. Look at the detail. Like, I know they probably haven't done that much with this remaster, but it does. It looks okay, you guys, I think. Personally. Where am I going? Upstairs. VIP area. Behind the velvet rope. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? Remember the wise guys we used to see? Sweet Monkey Tuesday says, You get done for speeding, but driving on the wrong side of the road is fine. His name's Henry Tomasino. And Rebecca M says, How many people has he vehicularly manslaughtered now? A lot, yeah, sorry about that. It's time to make some real shut off. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? How you, Joe? LND4 says, Can't do donuts outside yeah, Italian places, so uh, since donuts are from Greece. Well, maybe I could call them can cannelloni or something. What's a circular Italian? Cannellonis. Let's just call them cannellonis. Where can we get them? In the office of prices. <laughs> you on Fleming. Double park much, lol. Yeah, I did park directly in front of the door. Well, you saw my parking at the dock as well. I literally ramped it into the staircase that I needed to get up. So, um, yeah, my parking's not the best. But when you're this good at driving, you don't need to be good at parking. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. Is my glass invisible? Yeah, it is. I've got an invisible glass. Okay, that's weird. Um, I, did, I only just noticed that, <laughs> and I've been drinking from it for the entire. Um, Stream, yeah. It's actually yellow, not green, but it's it's invisible. Okay, we're in. Six hundred bucks is like a, a month's pay. More than a month's pay, I'd imagine, back in nineteen forty-five. Hey, and don't forget. Probably like a year's pay. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got me. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a dead. Right. Don't kill people. I got it. Maria Agnello's place. Right, okay. Yeah, my car's still where I parked it. That's quite cool. Uh, get in. Get in. Okay. A little, little turn there, little J turn type thing. Sort of. so old timey the whole place is so old timey I love it alright I've not seen a clothes shop so I guess I'm going to have to wait to get my mafia there's a diner there delicious, oh hat shop hat shop hat shop yes there it is there it is, it just appeared it I could kick the door in. No, I'm going to open the door. 
Right, give me your finest hat, lady. Come on, browse the store, well, yeah. I no, I don't want a leather jacket. Where's the ones with hats? Casual suit and hat. Casual suit and hat, what do we reckon? Anything else I can do for you? Oh, I'm getting chased. Ah, I'm in the mafia now. I'm so mafia. Yes, right. Good. Looking dapper. Let's go. Let's go get a pizza. Guys, I'm definitely in the mafia now. I've got a hat. That's that's the membership card, I'm telling you. Right. Oops. That was the wrong person to crash into, wasn't it? Uh, okay, well, me and my hat have been have been made by the by the cops. All right, it's fine. I'll just do a little, just a brief car chase, just to get rid of them, and then uh, and then we'll be back on it. I'm told I'm not even allowed to kill anyone. I assume that involves the police as well, so I'm gonna have to lose them. At least that's what I'm telling myself because I want to drive. Was well, my car wrecked? It feels really wonky. At the there we go. But it's not going to stop the Drift King. The Drift King of 1940s Empire Bay. There we go. Yeah, we're gathering speed now. Gathering speed now. Oh, that's not the right place to park. Right in the middle of a junction. You jerk. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, speeding vehicle. Yeah. Oh, no. More police. Oh, that looks painful. That looks real painful. Wasn't much I could do about that. Okay, well I'm going I'm going off road. I'm going off road in the hopes that I can lose them. Okay, come on. Get some speed up. Let's go. Let's go car. Let's go. Ooh, more damage. Right, let's sneak around here. As long as I can get out of their sort of cone of vision maybe. It's actually like quite a quite an involved car chase. I was not expecting to take this. Oh dear! Oh, my car's completely stuffed now. I'm gonna have to escape on foot in my distinctive hat. There we go. Right, off we go. I'm being pursued. Oh, I could go to the barbers and change my haircut. Maybe they won't be able to recognise me anymore. That's fine. Look, I'm better on foot actually. Look, my my police notoriety is uh, is dropping. Oh, good job I did all that cardio with Joe earlier. Yeah, in we go. They're not going to find me in here. I'm safe. Did it. Uh, check the door signs for Maria. There you go. There's Maria's apartment. Hey, Maria. Um, look at me. I look so much more professional. A bit of my forehead is clipping through my hat, which does somewhat ruin the, uh, the look a little bit. Look at my... Look at my bit of forehead sticking out there. That's weird. Um, David Badliotti says, With my last name, how have I not play played this series? Thanks for the stream, Mike. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, thanks for joining me for this. Uh, and Sweet Monkey Tuesday says, Any update on Andy's RDR2? Is he still picking hats? I think he's still working through some sort of technical issues uh, with his streaming setup. So we hope to have an update on that uh, sometime soon. Um, but uh, yeah, currently... No RDR2 live streams from Andy at the moment. Right, this lovely lady is going to see me steal a car because <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't have any other way to drop her off at the hospital. Um, and there's still, I mean, it's night time now, and the police have been hanging out out here all all day. It seems like, so I can't really steal a car from there. So let's go, let's go up the other way. Come on, lady, we're sprinting again. Come on. I mean, she doesn't need to go to the hospital. It suggests she's maybe not up for sprinting. But, um... Where can I steal a car from? There's one. There's one. In fact, this one's pretty close, though. Let's have this away. Alright, we've got about five minutes left to, uh... In fact, let's just smash the window. It's fine. Oh, no! Not possible. Okay. Actual Grand Theft Auto. Come on. Get it. Lady, get in. Get in, lady. Lady, get in. Lady, get in. Lady, get in. In, lady. Lady, get in. Right. Go. Go. Take easy behind the wheel. We're in a... Uh, no, I don't want to toggle 
safe driving. No. Okay, so I, I'm wanted by the police now because they've seen my clothes as well. So. Oh, but I've, I've escaped. Apparently, I've escaped. So it's fine. Um, so yeah, the button to toggle safe driving is A. So that's the thing that will like limit your speed and make sure you're not like suspicious. But I am wanted. So if I get seen by another police car on the way to the hospital, I will be in trouble. Okay. So I go into room and oh, that's a big drift that's gone wrong. There we go. So I just need to stay away from the police. That's fine. That's easy. I'm like Ryan Gosling in Drive. They'll never catch me. Oh no, there's a police car. And they definitely can see me. Oh, they didn't. They must be short-sighted, please. Um, it's good at night as well. I like this game. I think it's good. I think as long as it's not like excruciatingly expensive... Obviously, 2K provided us with the, the code for this, so uh, I don't know how much it costs, but assuming it's not too expensive, it's probably worth worth playing. Plus, let's all be honest. Oh my god, wow. She's definitely going to need the hospital now. Um, <laughs> she crashed into the lamppost in the front of the hospital. Um, let's be honest, there's not a lot of other stuff to play at the moment. If you finished Final Fantasy VII Remake and you're bored of Animal Crossing, what else is there? The Other than Mafia 2 street. Remaster. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. You thanks are welcome, lady. You are absolutely welcome. Get inside the office of price administration. Okay. I know my vehicle's wanted by the police, but we've only got three minutes until Ellen's starting streaming, so um So I don't have time. I don't have time to get a new uh don't have time to get a new car. Oh actually it was just across the road, though, it looks like. So I probably could have walked. It's probably taken me longer to get into the car and crawl around here than it would have done just to walk. Uh, okay, get out. This looks like a non-car bit. Right. No killing, remember? No killing. So this should be a cinch. Should be a cinch. Should just be able to talk my way in and talk my way out. Oh, I'm going to ruin my suit. Look, it's going to get caught on the barbed wire. Oh, I just bought this suit. Oh, actually, there's only barbed wire on part of that fence. Doesn't that sort of defeat the object? Right, I'm sneaking. Am I sneaking? There we go. Stealth. Stealth mission, you guys. My forte. All right, we have two minutes to finish this stealth mission. I'm sure it'll be fine. Open the door? No. Through the window galaxy brain. God, he's crawling like an old man through that. Okay. Stay hidden. There are guards around. Right. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Sneaky sneak. Out we go. Past the guards, probably. Through here. Stealth mission. Stealth mission. Upstairs? I'm assuming we're going upstairs. I'm I'm taking this quite quickly because we don't have a lot of time. So, oh. The cops are coming. Oh, and baddies. All right. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going, so... This place is enormous. Oh, no. Oh, this level. At least I don't know where I am at the moment, so... Right. Stairs? Can I go through these stairs? Different stairs I'm supposed to be going through. I can kick these doors. Ha! Yeah, that'll teach you. Okay, I feel like I need to go back to where the dot is. Take the key from the desk. Got it, got it, got it. Can I vault over these things? Okay. Yes, but it's extremely painful, is the answer. Where's the desk? Oh, no. Oh, security. Security! Oh, well... There we go. Classic result of a stealth mission there for Mikey. Um, I think probably uh, it's probably time to call it a day for uh, Mafia. But thank you so much for joining me um, for a little bit of this new game. It's out now. It came out yesterday at five o'clock in the evening. So um, yeah, if you're interested, check it out. Um, I definitely think the big the big news though is the uh, August twenty eighth. Um, uh, release of the the remake the proper remake of the original mafia which i think is going to be pretty special so um yeah look forward to that thank you so much for watching uh and go to outside extra right now to check out ellen uh live streaming assassin's creed black flag should be a good time see you then